local Peterborough artists join together for an evening of entertainment. They're here to help raise funds for Colton Bushy's family. James Hodgson helped to organize the event. When you hear a verdict like that, um, and you hear all of the uh, all of the opportunities that were had to, you know, inflict justice, and none of them actually occurred. Right? Like it's it's bizarre. It should have. There should have been. If this was any other nationality of person, and I, you know, it it could have played out very differently. 22-year-old Colton Bushy was shot and killed on a farm in Saskatchewan. Gerald Stanley was charged with second-degree murder in the death of Bushy. He was acquitted. News of the verdict shocked singer-songwriter Missy Knott. That's why she came out tonight. She says music is a great outlet. And it's kind of always just been my way, and. Luckily, a lot of the other artists that I work with and that are in my community always feel the same way. So we're, we're always happy to put on these sorts of events and bring everybody together to discuss and bring awareness and uh, hopefully, you know, do, the, do this some justice. Tonight's benefit concert includes a feast, a silent auction, poetry and music, and a special tribute to Tina Fontaine. Charlene Green is here to show support. She says the verdicts both in the Stanley and Cormier trials were alarming. We um, raise money for uh, Colton Bush's family. We think about all of these injustices, not just from today, um, but from generations past. And it motivates us, me personally to want to do more, to try to build relationships with people so that we can start those talks about what real justice looks like for Indigenous people. The event raised over $3,000 for Colton Bushy's family. And as this fundraiser ends, calls for support for Tina Fontaine's aunt Thelma Thabel continues. And at Francis A. Etienne National News, Ottawa.